Hey guys, Ron Onesti here at the Arcata Theater, talking to one of my idols, best buds in the business. But truly, man, you know, you were growing up, WLUP, there was a there was a group of guys, a group of people on that station that got us through high school, got us through college. One of those guys, Kevin Matthews. Actually, one of those guys, Jimmy Shorts, and his yep. friend, Kevin Matthews. <laughs> hey, Kevin, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, that's the way you have to say it. Everybody... From Jim Shorts to Devon to Eddie to uh, a cast of so many, yeah, I, I come last. Ron, it's good to see you. Congratulations, too, on uh, bringing such unbelievable entertainment back to uh, the Chicago area, especially out west and just outside Chicago. Kudos. Well, thank you, and you're so right. And nothing could be more truer about that than October 5th. What you did for us, you got us through. I mean, all your characters were real people i fail to uh believe that they were not real people let's just leave it at that you're gonna ruin my childhood but um on october 5th at the arcada theater the home for rock and roll we're gonna have a very special night i mean i you know when we first started talking about this kev i was so thrilled at the possibility never really believing that something like this can come to fruition i remember back in the day when especially one of your you know your big uh, uh characterization situations was the whole ed zeppelin band and uh and we started talking about it you're telling me about this this uh, uh documentary that you put together yeah, I want I want everybody watching and wondering whatever happened to Kevin Matthews. Well, uh, I'm still around. Brandmeier's still around. Steve and Gary and Larry Word and Danny Bonaducci. Everybody kind of went in every direction, you know, all over the United States. But slowly, we're all coming back thanks to Larry Word in a project I'll tell you about. But for the last five years, I was I was podcasting with Steve Dahl for over six years after I left radio. And then I started to just go through all my archives, video, audio, still photography. And I realized I had probably one of the best bands assembled to provide entertainment to Kev Heads. Now, Johnny Brandmeier, of course, he had the leisure suits. He was, <laughs> look at the... Uh, Poplar Creek, Alpine Valley, attendance records. Steve Dahl, you had teenage radiation. Um, you right. know, everybody, Buzz Kilman is a blues man, heart player. So everybody at the loop loved music, including me. And I got together. Mm -hmm. I wanted to assemble the best band possible. And years ago, decades ago, I decided I I, gonna, I I ran into Dave Urich, who is one of the best guitarists. Oh, yeah, absolutely. In, in the country. He turned me on to Randy Riley on bass, uh, Brad Sturtz on keyboards. And uh, suddenly we had this band and it was a parody of Ed Schwartz. And I heard Eddie when I first got to Chicago. And I honestly, I was driving home and I was working at the Loop at the time. And I'm driving home listening to GN. And I'm hearing this guy talk like this. Hello, WGN. <laughs> I'm like, is that a woman? And then I went <laughs> in. Steve Dahl goes, no, that's a guy. And then I decided, okay, I've got to find out more about this guy. And then I started to impersonate him. And then I thought, I want to do music with him and bring him on stage. And so we started a band called Ed Zeppelin. And <laughs> Ed Zeppelin, for a decade, we played every venue and we were able to play anything we wanted i basically always since college was a big frank zappa fan sure. so the music i liked was very involved and i needed a great band to play frank zappa and so i found the players and then we did parody songs at that frank zappa who i knew very well was very proud of what I was doing with Ed Zeppelin. So I'm bringing this documentary. We put together a 30-minute documentary that I want to. I want everybody to see. It's a world premiere. And the players are in the documentary, but I've also got players that will be live on stage. Before we see the uh, documentary, I used to do a ton of stand-up comedy. I mean, mm -hmm. I, you know, I've worked with everybody from – Jerry Seinfeld to Tim Allen to Bill Hicks to Amazing Jonathan. 
And when I started to do um, comedy in Chicago, Mike Toomey and I, I really found mm -hmm. this new kid named Mike Toomey, who's now a Chicago fixture and especially on WGN television. Absolutely. So Mike is going to start the night. I'm going to come on out. I want to do some stuff because it's been a while. Um, and, and then we're going to show you this documentary. We're going to take a break. And then, Ron. It's only about a half hour of that documentary, right? Yeah, but it's really, really good because we never recorded any music with Ed Zeppelin. We always played it live. And so right. I want one song, and I do, in this documentary. And we got all the players. We perform it. You hear about how Ed Zeppelin was formed, how much trouble I got in. I was almost yeah, right. sued, I remember by that. GN, <laughs> sued by the Tribune. And so the players are there. Then I'm going to take a break and I'm going to bring somebody out very special. And I'll let you explain that. So mm -hmm. I want to well, see I'll tell you what. Buy a ticket. It's a, it's a cheap ticket and it's just going to be a great night. And Ron, when we come back from intermission, I think we're going to have some history. Well, hell yeah. So the, the evening is structured. So many things happening. First of all, you know, if you come in with your loop shirt, we're going to do a very special drawing for everybody who's there in the loop shirt. So a special VIP experience uh, like none other. So wear your loop shirt if you're coming. You should wear your loop shirt if you don't. Still wear your loop shirt. Uh, but the structure of the night is so WLUP centric. All the stories, all the music, the Ed Zeppelin band, of course. You got a very special thing we're doing uh, with regards to WLUP. We got to unveil that night. I know that's a very special thing for you. And then we got our buddy Man Cow is going to be there. And I love how it's being it's being presented because I've been talking to him every day about this, and he is coming after you because this is being uh, uh, positioned as radio rivals, rock and roll radio rivals live on stage man cow and kevin matthews uh i'll be hosting it we'll be doing some q a's some behind the scenes stories our buddy dave player from wgn will also be there it's going to be an amazing night of rock and roll live music and memories kevin matthews i'm telling you i love you brother I Thank love what you. you stand for. And this whole thing is a fundraiser for this religious thing you've been doing with uh, with the nuns, supporting them. And people need to know that, too, that the money that was raised isn't going to anybody's pockets. I'm donating the place. Kevin's donating his time. This is all going to raise money for some nuns. And in, in what uh, what area? You know, what, I, what I've, I've been working with, uh, you know, this is like John Belushi and Aykroyd, the Blues Brothers. We're doing this for nuns. I had a chance a long time ago to meet these sisters, one in particular, Sister Colleen Ann, and she works with autistic kids and they do, and they also really help families that are suffering from someone who um, suicide. And so they wow. do tremendous work and they need some help. And, and you were kind enough to let me have the venue. And I want it just to be a night of laughs. I want it I to be a night of music. Uh, Larry Wirt, my general manager at The Loop, he paid for everybody's fines. He paid the FCC for Brandmeier fines, Steve Dahl fines, Gary Meyer fines, Bonaducci. Yeah. My Larry is he putting... was, you know what? I mean, excuse me, Kev. He was he was just as much character, especially oh. on Steve Dahl, but with Johnny B and you and Steve and Gary. And I mean, he was on the air or he was uh, he was a subject of the conversation. I mean, everybody thought he was a character as much as Jimmy Shorts was. Yeah, he encouraged, uh, you know, if I got fined by the FCC, he didn't mind paying it. You know, and, you know, think of the heartache that every day he would come in. We had a blast with Larry and oh, yeah. Larry said, you know, like we're high school with money. And Larry just, yeah, right. went, hey, you want to have a party, have a party. You want to have a toga, get, you know, go get Otis Day in the nights. Do whatever oh, you want. Oh, that was fabulous. Yeah. And so Larry has put together this loop documentary. It's this, it's going to be huge. That's going to be released. Uh, by springtime, but it's taken him two years to put this together. And you got to remember when we were on the loop, yes, Brandmeier, Steve, Gary, Bonaducci, we were having fun on the air, but culturally, Michael Jordan, that new kid from the Carolinas in for the Bulls, you know, the yep. 85 Bears just win the Super Bowl. Oprah is new. You know, Jerry Springer, uh, Mort Downey, Chicago yeah, right. 
Chicago was a petri dish where the country and the world was watching. And Larry's captured that in this documentary. And Larry is going to be kind enough to show this loop clip, this trailer that's never been seen before. That alone is worth this ticket to help out these sisters and to have a fun night with Mike Toomey and Man Cow. You know, I've known Man Cow for over 20 years now. Oh, sure. So, yeah, have him bring it on. You know, it's like, I feel like. <laughs> Let's do this thing. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on, brother. I don't I know, know, man. Brother. You tell a guy like Man Cow to bring it on. You better have your, you oh, better be ready, brother. You, you better know, be ready. Man Cow is the, he is the most gentle, shy. Really little, is. So bring it on, brother. Bring it on, Man Cow. And October you, 5th, Kev. Yeah. October 5th, a night with Kevin Matthews. Uh, Ed Zeppelin, the band, and the documentary. Uh, Mike Toomey, the special WLUP trailer. Uh, yep. You've got Man Cow, of course, Dave Plyer, myself. What a night. And it's all a benefit for some really, really sweet nuns. It's October 5th. Tickets as low as 25 bucks. Wear your loop shirt. Relive those days when you wake up in the morning before high school, listen to the loop. And soon, the second we walked out of school and put our, uh, if we weren't playing our eight tracks and our cassettes in our uh, Firebirds and our Trans Ams, we were, we turned to uh, to the loop. Kevin, love you very much. Looking forward to October 5th at the fabulous Arcata Theater. You guys get your tickets now, man. It's going to be, and, and it's, it's a historic night. I mean, it really is. This doesn't happen all the time. It's never happened. So no. now's no. the time to be a part of something very, very special. Ron, I know you and Dave are going to ask me and Mancow separately 10 questions that you can ask us about anything and we've got to answer. We'll also take some questions from the audience. So, hey, if Mancow, I know you're watching this, Mancow, because uh, you're a maniac. Bring it, buddy. You better bring it. Ron, I'll see you October 5th. Hi, right, brother. October 5th. Thank you, Kev. See you guys there. Go to Oshows.com for an amazing night of WLUP music and memories with Kevin Matthews. See you then.